What is going on YouTube? Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, we're going to be going over all the Guardians, kind of. We're going to be going over their best items. We're going to be talking about the best item on every single Guardian in the game. I'm going to try to like spread it out a little bit so not just every single item is Thebes. Uh, unfortunately, some of them, it's literally Thebes because it allows you to just build into whatever else you want or however else you want to play or backline, frontline, whatever it is. So Thebes might be the answer for some of them. Thebes obviously works on every single Guardian in the game, but... Uh, I think some of them might have actually even better items or slightly worse, and I just don't want to say Thebes again. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, leave a like, subscribe. Starting with Ares. Ares is a really good Sov user, and it's for this main reason. His passive gives him 30 power for aura items. So, that turns Sov into a 250 health item, 55 physical protections, 30 power, and then an aura of 15 protections to teammates and hp5 which both stack really well with aries bolster defenses which is also protections and hp5 aries really good to solve next up rdo because of all the cc she, ha she has how much damage she has in her kit her best item is actually going to be manticore i did just get nerfed uh, i mean a month ago two months ago now but it is still very very good on rdo she uses the protections health really well the mp5 allows her to spam abilities the only thing she needs to pair with this is a little bit of cooldown and then she can just spam and kind of hard carry games even from support next up athena athena is going to be one of our thebes gods because she literally can build any item in the game and it's like i mean it makes sense Binding. I mean, it works on her too, even though it's not great. Emperor's when she's diving, it works perfectly. Uh, Witchblade is really good because she's going to be in the middle of enemies. Uh, Contagion is good if she's going to be dash taunting, which she's going to be doing 90% of the time. Literally every other item is going to be good. So we just said Thebes. She's also a really good male renewal user. Either one would have worked. Next up, Atlas. Atlas is another one that can use just about any item, but I think his best item is actually Magi's, just for the fact he doesn't have any CC immunity, and he's kind of a sitting duck a lot of the times because his dash it can get caught pretty easily. Somebody just has to stand in front of it. So Magi's is going to be Atlas's best item. Next up is Bacchus, and Bacchus's best item... Uh, ignore that. Bac Bacchus's best item is going to be divine ruin divine gives him a little bit extra damage and flat pen to help him one shot stacks with the anti-heal on his three but honestly you could have done any of these ant or these uh flat pen items and i would have been fine with it i just did divine because it's the cheapest for one and two gives him extra anti-heal so he basically has 100 percent anti-heal in his kit next up kabraken if you're playing him in support his best item is spirits robe if you're playing him full damage poly is probably his best item but we're going to be talking about support solo mostly if you're building him full defense or full support Spirit Rope is his best item. It stacks really well with his passive, and it makes him just super tanky, and allows him to go something a little bit more defensive he needs to, like Compassion for some peel on his team. And then that stacks with his passive also, giving his teammates like 20 mitigations when he's around them. Next up, Cerberus. I was gonna say Contagion or Pesty, but they are so bad that I'm just not saying them. Just give him Thebes. I think he's a really bad support currently, but if I was to play him in support, Thebes would be what I'd do. Next up, Cthulhu. Not really a support, more of a soul laner. We're saying his best item is Pythags. Pythags allows him to go into Tainted, and then he just has really good stats with these two items. He's sitting at 85 power, 250 health, 15 prots of each. He's going to be sustaining himself a lot, also stealing some healing from you, giving it to himself, and then he's just going to be a monster team fighter with his Pythags. Next up, Fafnir. Guess what it is? Shoguns, that's right. No, no, guys, it's, it's not Thebes. Thebes works for everyone. It's Shoguns. Shoguns. You just transform to your teammates, use Shoguns, and you're giving your teammates like 50% extra attack speed, and you're going to shred anything and anyone. Ganesh, he has no good items currently. Just kidding. Any sort of cooldown. I was going between either Kronos Pendant or Pridwin, wherever the, pe wherever the heck Kronos Pendant is. These two items. Just getting his cooldown up all the way allows him to just spam ult and becomes a really new, a really big nuisance either one is fine if you're building a little bit more tanky Pridwin actually has some good viability of double slows with your ult and Pridwin. Cronus Pendant allows your abilities just to be up a little bit more and then his abilities actually do more damage next up is Geb who could be a Thebes god if renewal wasn't as good as it is on Geb you don't have any healing in your kit so it makes renewal a lot better with your compassion also in the late game it's really good and then this makes this early game not as painful it's still gonna be very painful because you have to play the landing phase and still get your mail of renewal but once you get Mail of Renewal, you're going to be a little bit stronger than you will be with just Thebes. Jormungandr, I literally have no idea how to build this character currently. I, I've seen so many builds where like full damage, so many bindings, so many void shields, stacking, warlocks. I don't know. If you're playing him in solo lane, you probably... I mean, if you're playing him, you're playing him in solo lane. Ask Fine, okay. Ask Rundus. Ask some solo laner because I don't. I don't enjoy this guy. This god. Kepri's best item is going to be Spirit's Robe. Kepri has no CC immunity, so he's going to be a very hard or easy target for the enemies. If you have Spirit's Robe, it just makes yourself a little bit tankier so you can peel for your teammates a little bit more. Kumba. 
tough to figure out the best item for Kumba. We went with Pridwin just because he's a he needs to have cooldowns. He's a cooldown spammer. Pridwin actually makes him do a little bit more single target damage, which makes him a little bit more of a threat. To be honest, Thebes, Pridwin, probably not that bad on Kumba. Kuzumbo. We're going to go with Bulwark for Kuzumbo. So I know a lot of you guys might know this from before, but you cannot lifesteal off of shields. And Kuzumbo has really good kill potential on the enemy backliners and not allowing them to heal off of them when that Bulwark shield comes up. So I really like going Bulwark when I'm playing Kuzumbo just to give me that opportunity to just solo backliners, kill the entire enemy backline mage ADC. Bulwark helps that out a lot, makes him really tanky, and then gives him some health prote protections and CCR. Maui can build literally anything in the game. So Maui is another Thebes god. Get your Thebes online, build them however you want after that. Sobek. So I, I went really funky with Sobek. Ethereal Staff. More of a later game, like third, fourth item. But Sobek is already pretty tanky. He gets extra protections in his ult. He doesn't scale that well, but this allows him to just do a little bit extra poke damage and makes him a little bit tankier because he's going to be having more health. So I went with Ethereal Staff for Sobek. Sylvanas. It might not be that good anymore, but I still think it's his best item. Lotus Crown. You're going to be giving teammates a lot of power, I mean, a lot of protections with your two and then Lotus Crown. And then you're going to be giving yourself some good MP5 to be able to spam abilities, a little bit of power to make your heals do a little bit more. And it's a cheap item. Next up, Terra, another Manticore God. She has a lot of ways to use this. It's good stats for her. She can go either male or Thebes. And then Spirit Strobe and Magi's can both be really good in any scenario. But I think Manticore in almost any single game is very, very, very good. Xing Chen. I went with Midgard for Xing Chen. He is already an incredibly hard god to lock down and kill. And Midgard just kind of adds on top of that of, oh, this god that's already hard to kill is even harder to kill. If you can get your one on the enemy backliner and then they're hitting you with hitting your Midgard, they're going to be doing no damage. Their attack speed is going to be super low and their movement speed is going to be super low, allowing your teams to catch up to them, your teammates to catch up to them. Yamoja. I was going to say Fae Blessed, but Fae Blessed just got a pretty big nerf. I think Fae Blessed is probably still her best item because it's statted very, very well. It gives her cooldown, which she loves. MP5 translates into HP5 for her. Magical Protection's health, always really, really good. So Fae Blessed, even though it's a lot worse, it's still fine on Yamoja. And then lastly, Ymir, even though our Ice Giant brother is dead because they killed his one, Thebes is still his best item. I think Thebes or Newell are really, really good on Ymir. Whichever one you go, and then you're allowed to just build into whatever you want, and you're going to be super tanky and setting up for your teammates. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's any other item that you guys think is better than the ones I listed below, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you like the content. Hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas. See you soon.